right, so for simplifying or reducing fractions, it's where it cannot be divided any further with a common factor. So I have six twelfths. The six is the numerator, the twelve is the denominator. Okay, the first thing I need to do to simplify is I have to find the factors that multiply to get each number. So six times one gives me six, three ti two times three gives me six, that's it, okay? And then for 12 underneath, I go, what multiplies to get to 12? One times 12, okay, or two times six, and three times four. Then I have to find the GCF, the greatest common factor. So before I do that, when you do the question, you have to write it out like this to get full marks. Okay, you have to find now the greatest common factor. What is that? That is the largest number that is the same in both of the numerator and denominators factors. Okay, so here's six, that's the largest number out of these numbers. Is there a six here? Yes. Okay, so then I circle six and circle six. They're the same, that's the largest or the greatest common factor, so I put it six. So I'm not done yet. I now have to get the numerator and I divide 6 divided by the greatest common factor, which is 6, equals 1. And then I look at the denominator, and I have to divide it also by 6. I can't divide it by something different. Okay, so I do 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So this is my new simplified fraction. So in my answer, I need to have all of that work. Okay?